When you think of ballpoint pens, you might think of the free promotional ones you get at events or hotels. But did you know they were considered revolutionary in the past and actually changed the way we write? In this video, we'll share how the ballpoint pen evolved into the pen we know today, plus nine innovative ballpoint pens that you can get at jetpens.com. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. How Ballpoint Pens Work The ballpoint pen gets its name from the small rotating ball at its tip. As downward pressure is applied, ink is dispensed from the ball tip. Ballpoints use oil-based ink, unlike gel pens, which use water-based ink. Oil-based ink is viscous and dries quickly, so it resists smearing with highlighters. This also allows ballpoints to write on a variety of paper surfaces, including receipts and cardboard. How the ballpoint pen changed writing. When ballpoint pens were invented, they were marketed as long-lasting and leak-proof alternatives to fountain pens, the common pen of choice at the time. They had some advantages over fountain pens. For one, Ballpoints didn't need high-quality paper, as the oil-based ink wouldn't bleed or feather. Additionally, they were friendlier to left-handers, more affordable, and easily replaceable. As ballpoint pens replaced fountain pens in many schools, they also changed the way people write. The tripod grip that's taught early on promotes a 45-degree writing angle, which best suits fountain pens. Ballpoints require a higher writing angle, otherwise the pen scratches and skips. Incompatible hand grips cause people to develop their own way of holding pens. When you combine unconventional pen grips with the added pressure ballpoints require for writing, you can end up with excessive hand strain. It makes sense that ballpoints have fallen out of favor nowadays, but now we'll show you some innovative ballpoint pens that might change your mind. We've broken down these pens into three categories based on how they improve the basic ballpoint pen. Low Viscosity Ink Low viscosity inks have lubricants that help the ball in the tip rotate more smoothly, providing an effortless writing experience. Typical ballpoint pens use highly viscous inks, which require more pressure when you write. The Pilot Acrobolt's Vibrant Smooth Ink makes it feel like a gel pen, yet it dries nearly instantly. It comes in a wide range of tip sizes and colors. If you're looking for something ergonomic, the Dr. Grip 4 Plus 1 Multi-Pen happens to use Acro Ink. The pen boasts an incredibly comfy grip that's great for relieving hand strain. Known for its exceptionally smooth ink, the Uni Jetstream is our favorite and most popular ballpoint pen. Its richly pigmented ink is one of the smoothest ballpoint inks we've tried. It's so smooth that we actually recommend using it with slightly more textured paper, like Midori MD paper or Kokuyo Zara Zara Perpanep notebooks. The Jetstream line also offers an ergonomic option in the Alpha Gel Grip series which has an ultra-squishy grip for comfort. The Zebra Surari uses even less viscous ink than the Jetstream. This does mean that the ink takes a bit longer to dry, but the pen comes in 0.5 millimeter tip size for lefties or those who prefer faster drying notes. The popular blend, which was designed to eliminate rattles and noises that might distract you, also uses Surari refills. Pressurized Ink Ballpoint pens rely on gravity to write, so it's difficult to use them on non-horizontal surfaces or in extreme conditions. Pressurized ballpoints use various mechanisms to eliminate these limitations. All of our choices can write upside down, on wet paper, and in hot environments. The Tombow Air Press is pretty unique. Unlike the other pens that use a pressurized refill, each time you click the pen, air pressure is injected into the ink refill. The air press does require a considerable amount of pressure to write, so it's best for quick notes. With its compact size and sturdy wire clip, 
it's the perfect pocket or everyday carry pen. The Uni Power Tank is the pressurized pen of choice for JetPen staff members. It utilizes internal compressed air pressure, which allows it to continually push out ink, making it a reliable pen in emergencies. It's easier to write with than the air press, so if you need to write for longer, this is the pen for you. We can't talk about pressurized ink without mentioning the Fisher Space Pen. Boasting an all-brass body, this nearly indestructible pen writes dependably over Greece and, of course, in space. It actually accompanied the Apollo 7 astronauts into space in 1968. Eco-friendly Since many ballpoints are disposable, some companies have created pens that are made from recycled plastic or metal. Metal pens last for much longer than plastic pens, only needing ink refills from time to time. We picked both recycled plastic and metal pens for you to consider. The Zebra Tapley is made of over 70% recycled plastic and features a sturdy binder clip. We like its relatively lightweight body, as well as its smooth ink. It produces a consistent line and doesn't blob up. Another great recycled plastic option is the Acroball, which is also made of over 70% recycled plastic. Holtring's impressive ballpoint lineup includes the iconic 600 series, gold accented 800 series, and a handy three function multi-pen. Their pens are made with hefty yet elegant all metal brass bodies. Their ink refills aren't advertised as low viscosity but they're still smooth and easy to write with. The Jotter is another iconic ballpoint pen, introduced in 1954. In the first year of development, Parker sold 3.5 million of these pens. With its thin metal body, the Jotter is perfect for business professionals or as a pocket pen. Jotters use Parker's Quink Flow ink. While it's considered a low viscosity ink, it writes more similarly to a traditional ballpoint ink. We just barely scratched the surface on ballpoint pen history in this video. To learn more, read our blog at jetpens.com. You can shop all the featured pens there too. If you liked this video, drop a like and tell us what pen was your favorite. Thanks for watching.